Welcome back again to our YouTube channel, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Again, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell icon para manotify kayo every time may bago kaming mga videos. Alright, in this video, pag-usapan natin naman ay deflection of beads, particularly cantilever beads. Ito kasi yung pinaka-common sa board exam. Any loading, uniform, concentrated, varying load. No? Yan ang pinaka-common talaga with this present examiner natin. Okay? So, okay, so, and, uh, and then we will solve this beam in three, three methods. Na? Unahin natin yung area moment and then uh, this will be the part one. Part two will be moment uh, three moment equation. Part three will be ano, using the fundamental formula slang. Iliin nyo lang, alin yung maganda doon. Tsaka ko na sasabihin, alin yung pinakamagandang method. Kasi depende yan sa inyo. Okay? Sige. So, basic talaga tayo ha. Cantilever beam. Ito yung ating beam. Believe me, I'm following the board exam for 30 years now. No? Bihira yung mga, sa, lalo na ngayon sa multiple choice, choice no? Bihira yung, yung mga yung mahihirap na loading, yung mga exit, ano talaga, yung akong mahabang beam. Usually cantilever lang. Siguro simply supported, no? But mostly is cantilever beam. So here we are, we are to compute the deflection at B and the deflection at C. Isali na lang, isali na lang din natin yung rotation. Okay? So deflection delta B, delta C, given natin yung, given yung EI. 3,600 kilonewton meter squared. Okay? The length of the beam is 3 meters, fixed, of course, at A, loaded with a concentrated load of 48 kilonewton at B, and a uniform load all throughout. By the way, C is 2 meters galing ng fixed end. Okay, by the way, tip ko lang, no? Kung bibigyan ka ng E and I separately, no? I advise gawin nyo agad, gawin nyo na lang siyang kilonewton meter squared yung unit. Wag newton millimeter. Kasi if you will do that, you will do lots of convert converting. Kasi if you will use kilonewton meter squared for your flexural rigidity, you can use kilonewton and meter for your units, which are the usual units given. Kaya hindi na masyado mabigat yung pag-convert. Nalabas dito na deflection meter. Ha? Okay, I hope. That will help. Sige, area, area moment method. Okay, dalawang method yun. Ha? QRM1, sa sinabi, the change in slope between two tangents drawn to the elastic curve at any two points A and B is equal to the product of 1 over EI multiplied by the area of the moment diagram between these two points. Okay? Uh, the children number two naman, the deviation of any point B relative to the tangent drawn to the elastic curve at, a, at any other point A in the direction perpendicular to the original position of the beam is equal to the product of 1 over EI multiplied by the moment of an area about B <laughs> of that part of the moment diagram between A and B. Kaya na nga lang magbasa. Ha? Libre pa to, pababasahin nyo pa ako. Anyway, joke lang ha. Sige, first kodin muna natin yung mga reactions. Okay, the reaction at A is of course 48 plus 36 times 3. So 156. And then the moment. And this is a negative moment. Bakit? Kasi pababa, bent down tayo. The bending is downward. Alright? So the moment here is uh, 48 times 3 plus 36 times 3 times 1.5. Okay? Of course, that's a negative reaction. Okay? 306 kilonewton meter. Okay. Now, next, i-draw natin yung elastic curve. Now, most students, Nap napansin ko lang, no? sa experience ko lang sa pagtuturo sa review for 30 years, inuuna agad nila yung uh, ano, by parts. Huwag muna, ha? Huwag muna. Unahin nyo muna yung moment diagram and then study what to do to solve the deflection or rotation. Okay? So ito yung ating beam. Dito ko na lang i-draw ha, para hindi magulo dyan. Kasi pag dyan maipit pa siya, no? Or ito yung ating elastic curve. Elastic curve. Tawagin natin easy. Ito yung point B. May sinasabi nitong tangents, okay? Ito yung tangent to the elastic curve at B. Ayan, itong blue na yan. Ito naman yung point A, sabihin natin uh, yung fixed end, okay? The tangent to the elastic curve at A is the beam mismo. Kasi yung slope of the elastic curve at A is zero because fixed end yan. Huh? 
Pag rigid dyan, it will not rotate at A. Kaya yung slope of the tangent through A is zero, meaning the tangent to the elastic curve at A is the beam itself. Kaya ito yung maganda sa fixed end. I mean, sa cantilever beam or any beam na may fixed end. Kasi yung tangent to the elastic curve at that end is already the beam mismo. Okay? Now, may sinabi dito sa theorem 1. The change in slope between the tangents drawn to the elastic curve at any two points A and B. So meaning, okay, the tangent through A is the red, the tangent through B is the blue, the change in slope is ito. Ito daw change in slope na yan is equal to the product of 1 over EI and the area of the moment diagram between A and B. Area of the moment diagram. Okay, yun yung first theorem. And by the way, since the tangent to the elastic at A is the beam mismo, then yung theta AB natin is also the, the, the rotation of point B. Kasi the rotation of point B is the angle of this tangent blue line with the horizontal. And since this is horizontal, okay, so nag, nagkataon lang yun, nakasip fixed end to. Okay, now, ano naman yung deviation? The deviation of point B from the tangent line through A in the direction perpendicular. So yung deviation perpendicular to the original position of the beam. So yung deviation is measured vertically kasi yung beam natin is horizontal. Pag ganun, ito yan. Deviation of point B from the tangent line thrown through A. Vertical yan kasi yung beam natin is horizontal. Sinabi kasi dito perpendicular to the original position of the beam. The deviation is equal to the product of 1 over EI and the first moment of area about point B of the moment diagram between A and B. Okay? I'm going to explain natin yun. And again, since the tangent through A is the original position of the beam, so itong deviation na yan, yan na rin yung ating deflect. Diwana ba? Okay. Sige. Now, moment diagram. So we need here the moment diagram, the area of the moment diagram and the centroid. Kaya dapat i-draw mo yung by parts. Ay ibig sabihin, kada loading, gawan mo ng individual diagram para hindi ka mayarapan sa area at saka centroid. Now, maraming options pag-draw ng diagram by parts. Okay? Ito yun. Ha? These are the different options that you can have. Okay? You can draw the diagram referring it to any line in the beam. Let's say, if you draw the diagram based from this vertical line to C, then you will be having here, okay, the loads that will be involved is isa, okay, yung concentrated load na yan. The moment at C by that is 156 times 2. Ito yun. Okay, next, the, the applied moment, that's uniform. Agad dito lang. And the uniform load, that will be second degree. No? 36 times 2 times 1, negative 72. And the load on the other side, 48 times 1, ayan, negative. And the uniform load, 48, uh, no, 36 times 1 times 1 half. Ito yung moment diagram by parts. No? Uh, draw natin uh, relative to this line, to C. Okay, that's one option. You can do that. No? Pwede, mo namang mag, pwede ka na mag-draw relative to the line through B. Ito. So ang makikita mo dyan, tatlong loads. No? Reaction, moment, at saka yung uniform load. For the reaction, it will be 156 times 3. Ito. Ayan. For the moment, 306 negative. Yeah. And for the uniform load, 36 times 3 times 1.5 negative. And that's second degree. Pwede yan. No, anyway, alam mo naman yung location ng centroid niyan. Ito, triangle. Ito, second degree curve. One third BH. Or pwede rin dito sa A. Pumili ka lang. Anywhere, you can do that. Ha? So kung sa A ka, dalawa na yung makikita mo. P tsaka yung uniform load. Or the P is like this. P, 48 times 3. For the uniform load is similar to this, na? Pag ganun lang. Negative 1, 6, 2 din yan. Okay? Well, so if I were to choose and, I'm up, I'm, and then I'm up there for the moment between A and B, of the three, ito yung pinaka-best. Kasi dalawa lang yung involved. Ito, tatlo, ito, marami, wag to. Ha? Ito tayo. Okay? Sige, sige. Tingnan natin, ha? I-draw natin yung moment diagram by parts. Dito tayo sa A. Kaya ulitin natin, okay, 48 times 3 ito, negative 144. And then this will be negative 36 times 3 times 1.5. Okay, this is second degree curve, 162. 
Oke, okay, yung area nito, triangle, 1 half BH, 1 half 3 times 144, so that's negative 216. Ito naman ay 1 over N plus 1. So, 1 third BH. Spandre loba parabola. 1 third 3 times 162 is negative 162. Okay, so meron na akong area. Then, makukuha ko na yung change in slope. Alright, so 1 over EI times the area. Yung dalawa lang. Ah, napakadali. Negative 216 and negative 162. Okay, sa picture tindi values, makukuha natin negative 105 radians or times 180 over pi, negative 6.016 degrees. And that's also the rotation of B. Answer. Okay, bakit negative yung sagot? Ha? Okay, negative kasi yung change niya negatively. No? Meaning the elastic curve bends down. Naka-bend siya downward. No? The change in the slope as you go to the right is increasing negatively. Kung positive yung change, meaning paakyat yung kanyang elastic curve. Pag ganon. Kung pag ganon yung elastic curve, positive yung change. Pag ganito yung elastic curve, negative yung change. Take note. Huh? Okay. Next, the deviation. O sinabi naman dito, the deviation daw relative to the tangent drawn to the elastic curve at A equals the product of 1 over EI and the moment of area about B. Actually, ito pa rin siya, kaya lang meron lang tayong moment arm about B. So we need the moment arm. So we have, okay. So what are the moment arms of the centroids? Okay, this 2, 1, 6 sub-centroid here. Okay, this is triangle. This is 1 third of L. So this is 2 thirds. We have to measure it from B, kung saan yung point. Huh? So ito. So 2 thirds of L, 2 meters. Ito naman, uh, 1 over N plus 2 times L yan. So 1 fourth galing dito. Na? One fourth yan galing dito. So dito is one over or three fourth. Okay, three fourths of L. Three, 2.25. Now, one over N plus two times L man yan. Galing dito. So one fourth of L. So three fourths of L. Okay, so minus one six two times 2.25. Then you will get negative 0.2213 or negative 2213 mm. And that is the reflection at B also. Okay, so bakit negative? Bakit negative? Kasi what? Pababa? Hindi ha? Dahil the point is below the tangent. Okay? The tangent ito, ito yung point. Relative to the tangent, below the tangent yung point. Kaya negative yung sign niya. Na? Ita, eh, hindi ibig sabihin. Kasi sir, baba, nasa baba ng beam. No, no, no. Kasi what if you're... Uh, okay lang sa cantilever beam. Pero sa ibang beam, hindi ha? You will be magkakamali ka talaga pag hindi ka aware doon sa mga sign. Ha? So yun lang, little on, we will have an example sa simple beam naman. Nagyan pa natin ng overhang. We will do it next time. Dandahan lang. Ang daming request. <laughs> Dandahan lang tayo. Siguro in one year's time or even in two months time, ang dami ko nang ma-upload dito sa ating YouTube channel. Na? By the way, invite ko kayo pala bago natin i-continue. Ha? Invite ko kayo sa aming online review. Na? For this batch, we will start on June 1. June 1, that will be, ano, sa online review namin, marami kaming principles. Dito, wala na masyado tayong principle. Doon may mga derivations pa kami na ginagawa. No? Mas comprehensive pa siya dito. And then, in order yung topics. Sunod-sunod talaga yung topics natin. Kaya, try that. Ha? You can uh, review at the comfort. O kahit nag-review na kayo sa ibang review center. No? Kung may pera naman kayo, why not? No? Sige lang, try nyo lang. Ha? Okay. Sige. Next. Next tayo. The reflection and rotation at C. Okay, so ito yun. So what diagram to use? Okay, you can use this. But the problem is, mahirapan tayo. Ang dami oh. May, ay, ito okay lang. Sabi so yung kilalalabasan. Kasi concern lang tayo kung sa C ako, I will be using A and C. The diagram between A and C. I will not use this. Mahirapan tayo sa relationship ng elastic curve dito. Samantala dito, we will take advantage of this tangent na horizontal to A. Kaya you should use A and C. Then I will be using the diagram between A and C lang. Mahirapan ako dito na part. Kaya hindi magandang gamitin to. Ang, pina, ang technique dyan, kapag in between ka, mag-moment diagram by pass ka about the line to that point. Dito tayo si sa C mag-refer. Okay, ito yung tangent to C. Point C natin dyan. Ito yung tangent to C. Ito yung rotation of the ang, uh, change in slope from uh, tangent AC. And then, ito naman yung ating deviation. 
Again, similar kanina, ito yung slope at C din. Ito naman yung deflection at C. Okay? So, dito tayo mag-draw. Between A and C lang. Hindi ko na i-draw yung diagram dito sa right side. I don't need that. I only need the diagram between A and C. Huwag mo na entertainin niya. Papagod ka lang ng oras. Okay, unahin natin yung 1.56. 1.56 times 2. So, that's 312. Okay, ito naman. 306, uniform. Negative 306. And the uniform load. 36 times 2 times 1, negative 72. Second degree curve. Negative 72. Ayos. Okay, wag ko nang, hindi ko na-draw yung nasa right side. I don't need that anymore. I only need the diagram between A and C. Ang area nito is 1 half 2 times 312. Over 312. Ito naman is negative 306 times 2. So that's negative 612. Ito naman ay 1 third 2 times 72. So that's negative 48. Ayos. Okay, so masasolve ko na yung change in slope between A and C. 1 over EI times yung area. So, very simple. So, 1 over EI times 312 minus 612 minus 48. That will give you 0 0.0967 radians. Negative yan, ha? Hindi ko na ilagay yung negative. Sorry. Uh, may, neg uh, may negative yan dapat yan. Na, hindi ko na ilagay. Or that is negative 5.53 degrees. That is also your theta sina. Kaya ka din, Negative lang to. Sorry. Ah, uh, sige lang. Eh, minsan nakakamali yung computer. Kaya yeah, hindi, uh, hindi ko mali yan. Computer yun. <laughs> Joke. Okay. Next, yung division. So, ito pa rin. Ito pa rin. Lagyan mo lang ng moment arm. Saan galing? Sa C. Kasi yung point mo nasa C. Na? Ito yun. Bart X to C. Okay. So, the moment arm. Ito, centroid niya nandyan. Centroid dito nandito. Centroid dito nandyan. Ang location nito is one-third of two. So, two-thirds. Ito naman ay one-half of two or one. Ito naman ay one-fourth of two or that is 0.5. Ayos ba? Ha? Okay. So, that will be... Dagdagan lang natin yan ng moment arm. I-repeat mo rin yan. Lagyan mo lang ng moment arm. Sige. Okay. Yan. Okay, ang lalabas yan ay negative 1189 meter or negative 118.9 millimeters. That's also your delta C. Again, bakit negative? Kasi C is below the tangent, na? the tangent line. Okay, so that's it. Eh? So I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Abangan nyo yung part 2 natin. We will be solving the same problem, the same data using the three moment equation. Huh? Okay, I hope you learned a lot. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Huh? Mag-like naman kayo sa video natin para ganahan kaming dumawa ng maraming videos. Huh? And please click the bell icon para... Ma-notify kayo, ha? Okay. Thank you so much for watching.